Hey guys, King of Charm Manners here, and we're continuing the level 50 series into Azumarill. Now, I'm not going to go too much on the Go Hub analysis, because you've probably either faced this thing a bajillion times in Golgali, because guess what? Since the preseason, Azumarill has not been nerfed. It is literally, arguably, the most powerful Pokemon in Great League, and consistently the one that Niantic never touches, because if it really did touch it, it would hurt a lot of other Pokemon if things like Ice Beam or Play Rough were nerfed. And Bubble doesn't need to be nerfed in general because it's a slow move anyways. It doesn't have the stats of Snarl, etc. And, but because this bunny is so thick and powerful, you either love it because you use it or you hate it because it's either one killed you a bajillion times or you're just sick of seeing it in Go Battle League. Anyways, enter Azumarill slash Azu slash evil bunny that's literally been taking your soul or you've been taking souls with it since the preseason. Now the reason why it's so freaking powerful is not a surprise because it maxes out at level 40 as you see max out near 1500 and it's just so thick and pa it's stat spread is ridiculous. Decent attack and super thick. Thick bunny. And it's combination of moves and coverage is just so like nuts. As you see, you probably already know its weaknesses and resistances, but I'm going to just go over it real quickly. It's weak to electric, grass, and poison. Poison because it's a fairy type, and it resists dragon breath, so dragons, bug, dark, fighting, fire, ice, and water. Able to resist a lot of fast move damage, a lot of the counter users, and it has a great move set. It has bubble, hydro pump, and play rough. Please don't ever use rock smash on your Azu unless you're trolling your opponent. The thing about play rough and hydro pump and ice beam, this is a gr all of these moves are great coverage. Ice beam is able to take shields, doesn't take too much energy. Also able to hit all of those double weak flyers very well. Play rough does get stab, it threatens fighters as well as dark types. And hydro pump, you do get stab as well. And it's just one of the most versatile and consistently most powerful mons in the entire game. If you don't have one, you, you can win without using it. I, my most successful team in Go Battle League, I've never used Azu. In fact, I think Azu, the one time I did use Azu in a variation, it actually wasn't as effective as I thought. And it actually probably cost me... It probably cost me a lot more than I realized. But anyways, Azu is incredibly powerful in any team. You can literally... The Reggie Azu core has been a freaking destroyer. And so has the Reggie... The Azu Skarm core recently has been a, like a monster. Like Azu Sableye core is also... As you see, Azu just has so much synergy with anything you practically put together. It Since some of the most powerful cores in the game. And it's probably been pissing off and go battle league since day one. Alright, so guess where Azu level 50 XL takes on PV Poke? Smack down at number one for the Great League. With the extra thickness that Azu has, it actually overtakes Galarian Stuntfisk as the most powerful mon in Go Battle League, as if it wasn't number one for a consistent amount of time already. Behold, Azumarill level 50 extra large. It is strong in every position except the switch ironically i think the reason why azu like azu's a great safe switch so i don't know it rates so low on switches but i think i know why because there are so many other pokemon in the back like galvanchal and obama snow that have been really taking over the like meta etc however it is the most powerful overall regardless it's also a fantastic switch a lot of the meta usually revolves around killing azu so like i guess that's why the switch rating is so low but it's still incredibly powerful and can still be used as a switch a lot of people use it as a switch a lot. So Azumarill, as you see, lead closer, very powerful. Beats G Fist, Skarmory Core, very the G Fist Skarm, Altaria, Bastion, Mirawak. It's just so strong. Look at these ratings: 600, 700, absolute destroyer. Now Azumarill XL does lose against Azu in the mirror, but like you only lose in the mirror if they have play rough and if they wouldn't if other conditions are met etc obviously grass hurts you as well and Gal and electric type galvantula does do heavy damage so just keep that in mind also hypno does a da hypno does a number to you because of thunder punch 
and Tropius because of those Leaf Blades. As you see, Azu XL overtakes the regular Azu. At one point before this update, G Fisk was actually the number one overall. Now Azu XL takes it by a few points. But as you see here, regular regular Azu is still incredibly powerful and oppressive. It's yeah, it's still really good. So in the lead, Azu XL ranks at number five. You've probably seen a lot of Azu leads just because it's a great lead to come back from. And if you realign and put Azu in the back, if you don't win Switch, then you can still be good in a certain scenario. As you see, Azu XL takes the number five spot in the lead, beating things like Jifa, Skarm, Altaria, Blastia, and Myrock, like we mentioned in the two shield. That's what makes it a fantastic switch as well. You win Lee if you, I mean, a fantastic safe switch. So. It's still a good save switch just because overall it beats a lot of leads, but it lower it's ranked so low because there's a lot of things that can counter your safe switch. Does that make sense? Now for closers, the number one closer is Electivire Shadow. That's a beast. However, Azumarill and Azu XL are actually the number one closers. The reason why Azumarill takes XL in the closer, the regular version, by like 0.3 points is because regular Azumarill wins CMP. So I, at least that's what I'm guessing is because it does win CMP. Because Azu, in order to have an Azu for, I believe it's like the, the stat product is like 8, 15, 15 for a, like a perfect Azu. And Azu XL, I think has to have like zero attack. So because of that, Azu will win CMP. That's why it's above here. Now, obviously this is a really specific matchup because if you're a head on energy with Azu XL, you're going to beat Azu slash the other way around. Or if you have play rough, you just beat it out, right? If they don't have play rough and you have play rough. So Azu XL and the closer are still extremely powerful. As you see here, but like 0.3 isn't really a lot to worry about. It's still really good. As a switch, Azu does fall off on the matrix, but that's only because there are so many things on the as you see, there's so many things that can really like do its do a number on it. Like return shadow, like return sableye, etc. All of these are monstrous Pokemon to use for Go Battle League. Now as you see, Azu, if we have to, we have to actually look for it. Azu is still a great safe switch. In fact, a lot of people use it as a safe switch just because of its general ability to cover so many typings. And if your opponent doesn't have a hard counter to Azu, like an electric or grass type, then you have a really strong neutral matchup and a good chance of taking back switch advantage. As you see, Azu ranks at number 67 overall. Still beats things like Azu, G Fist, Skarm, Altaria, Bastion, etc. So, like I said, it's not bad. Azu can still be used as a safe switch. Yes, it doesn't rate as high as other things, but that's just because there's so many things that go bad league meta that float around that do beat Azu. And there's a lot of things that Azu beats as an XL Pokemon. As the attacker, Azu XL ranks at number one. So, it's the number one attacker, deals an enormous amount of damage just because of that bulk, because it has that extra bulk and power. It's able to destroy your opponents, and as you and it has gives it gives you really powerful matchups. A 600 rating isn't something to scoff about, so just keep that in mind. Azu XL is a beast, and it will take your soul and go battle league. All right, here is my favorite part of the video. If you would like to donate to people, please do. Link is in description, as always, because it's an amazing resource, and the, the human being behind us is amazing, and we can't do everything we do specifically like this if it wasn't for him. At least me and so many others. Anyways, here is Azumarill. As you see, I have the complete... I'm not going to go too in-depth on each variation because I put every variation here. Here's Ice Beam Hydro Pump. Here's Play Rough Hydro Pump. Here's Ice Beam Play Rough. This is every variation of Azu. You're never going to use Rock Splash. Please don't ever use Rock Smash Azu. So here's Azu with every variation. Ice Beam Hydro, Play Rough Hydro, Ice Beam Play Rough. And then I put the level 50. 50 here's the level 50 ones right here. And then the level 40 ones as well. As you see, level 40. So the level 40 maxed out at perfect IVs, assuming you have a rank one, etc. So here's this is the two shield. And I'm gonna run everyone, but I'm gonna go really I'm just gonna like specify and summarize most matchups. I'm not gonna go in depth because Azu is a monster, and you probably have most of you probably already know how well Azu performs, anyways. So we're in the simulation. In the two shield, you still lose to Obama Snow, unfortunately, no matter what variation you have, just because it does resist you. And it does do heavy damage and charges quick with that energy ball. You do, as you see, level 50 Azu and level 40 Azu with Ice Beam. Even with Play Rough, you'll still win. But as you see, the level 50 variations with Ice Beam do have a lot better. As you see, they have a really strong matchup. Not too much of a difference than level 40. So there's really, yeah, not too much of a difference than level 40. Now, here's what's interesting. At level 50, at level 50, 
Player of Hydro Pump, Azu, can beat Bastiodon. A level 41 cannot. That's the only variation here. And then, yeah, that's pretty nuts. So the level, so a level 50, or actually, I think this is the level 41, yeah. So it I think this is CMP. So it looks like the 40 beats the, the 50, the 40 beats the 50, just because of the sheer damage you do with Bubble. So as you see, the reason why level 50 loses, I'm guessing it's because you don't do enough damage with Bubble, ironically. So Ice Beam, Play Rough, Azu, with the attacks that it has, doesn't beat Bastion on which is pretty funny. However, it does beat Clefable. So you either beat Clefable or you beat Bastiodon. I don't know. I see a lot more Bastion. I'd rather be Bastiodon. But this is just a pretty funny. <laughs> so for Deoxys defense, in order to be DD, Deoxys defense, you need to have Hydro Pump in the two shield. As you see in the two shield, Deoxys defense with Thunderbolt Rock Slide. If it has Psycho Boost, you're safe. Psycho Boost Rock Slide will, is okay. But if it does have Thunderbolt Rock Slide, the general variation you can only beat it if you have player if you have hype, hyper i mean hydro pump because you need up you need to you need to actually pump dd to beat it as you see here now you beat now you lose against dugong dugong does wall you just because of bubble it walls bubble and even if you do have player if you have a stronger matchup as you see the level 50 variations do have stronger ratings however dugong is just so thick so you're not going to get much play with it. You beat Diggersby because ground type, water beats ground. You beat Driplin with the Ice Beam Hydro Pump variation because you're able to finish it off with Hydro Pump. Actually, I think you can straight, yeah, you're able to, I think, no, wait, that doesn't, do you just go, you just go straight Ice Beam, right? Let's take a look. I think you just go straight Ice Beam in the two shield. As you see here, we fire up the, you fire it up. Just, okay, so you need to land Hydro Pump. That's why it beats it. So the reason why Ice Beam Player Off wins is because you're able to take both shields, but you have to land a Hydro Pump. So this is a bait dependent matchup for Driplin. Still being able to beat Driplin with either the 40 or the 50 variation, but every other variation, unless you have Ice Beam Hydro Pump, you will not beat it. Nine times out of 10, though, will be prompted to shield anyways, because flying is weak to ice and it hurts. Now, Frostless loses to the level 50 Azumarill. This is interesting. So level 50 does flip some matchups. As you see here, Ice Beam Play Rough in the two shield wins. However, a level 50 Azu with Ice Beam Playoff does flip the Frostless matchup. So that's a really interesting matchup right there. Every other variation loses. I'm guessing it's because you can't bait shields and you need to land the Hydro Pump. So as you, and you don't have that extra thickness for Frostless because Frostless Shadow Ball hits really hard. Now, the interesting part here is with the level 40 vari- You're able to beat Hypno with the level 40 variation as well as Play Rough Hydro Pump. I'm guessing it's just because of damage output. But let's take a look real quick. As you see here, Hypno is a monster. It does it does have a lot of variety. It's oh you barely win that. Let's see you barely win this matchup. Okay, so it makes sense. So the level fifty variation doesn't deal enough damage. So this is where the the extra attack comes into play. The extra attack actually flips this matchup. So eight attack matters because a level fifty Azu is gonna have zero attack or le very low attack. So that little that extra attack you have matters. Against Lapras, the player of Hydro Pump variation actually beats Lapras in the twos at both level 50 and level 40. And it looks like the level 40 Ice Beam player of is able to take down Lapras. So you, there is there is a difference in the Lapras matchup right here. But you're able to beat it as long as you have the player of variation and it has to be level 40, ironically. As you see here, it has to be level 4. It has to have player of in level 40 or you don't beat it. Now, though, Shadow Champ, you don't beat Shadow Champ. This is what's nuts. Shadow Champ is a busted mon, and it's able to beat every variation except Azu with Ice Beam Play Rough because Play Rough is able to KO it in the end. If But this is a bait dependent matchup, too, because unless unless Ma Shadow Champ lands a Rock Slide, it won't beat you. So, in order for Shadow, this is what makes Shadow Champ tricky because if it lands a Rock Slide, as you see here, it will kill you. If you shield the Rock Slide, so you, you just, if you bait the cross drops. So if you, yeah, if you bait the cross chop, so let's see, assuming you don't shield this attack, sandbox mode, and then you shield, you actually shield the rock slide, you will beat this matchup. As you see here, Azumar wins. So you just have to shield the rock slide. If you call the rock slide, you straight ice beam. And then, well, yeah, you can straight ice beam or you straight player of either one. So this is a bait dependent matchup. Still, it's pretty nuts how much shadow matchup can beat in Azu and the two shield. Now, you beat Mandiba just because Snarls don't Snarls fairy resist dark, so Snarls don't do much damage. You beat Mantine with the Ice Beam player version because you could straight Ice Beam it to death. And it do and as you see, the level 50 variation has more play because it essentially walls Mantine because you resist all of Mantine's moves. But you get that extra bulk, so that's why it's so much stronger. Level 50 Azu does beat 
Mantine, like I said, as long as it has Ice Beam, so you can learn Player Up, but level, if you don't have that that extra bulk, you won't beat it. As you see, Mantine does beat an Azumarill, that's level 40. You beat Aoyak, you beat Medicham. Meganium obviously takes your soul because those Frenzy Plants are going to deal heavy damage. Level 50 Azu actually beats Mew. So level 50 Azu flips the Mew matchup, as you see here. You lose with all the other variations, but you need Ice Beam, Play Rough, or I'm guessing you just need Ice Beam. So as long as you have Ice Beam, Ice Beam level 50 does flip the Mew matchup. If you don't have it, as you see here, you don't. all variations that don't have Ice Beam pretty much lose. I don't know why this one's right here. So, Or let's take a look. I think you... Do you have to land Hydro? Okay, it's just straight Ice Beam. So no, you just go straight Ice Beam. So this one, this matchup should flip through. So Mew, you could just go straight Ice Beam at level 50. Oh, yeah. You need to be level 50. So level 50 with Ice Beam flips this matchup with Mew, which is pretty nuts. You could just go straight Ice Beam. You beat Munchlax. You beat Munchlax with the Ice Beam Hydro Pump variation. As you see here, level 50 does have a weaker matchup against Munchlax just because of that extra damage that you don't, you don't deal the extra damage with 8 attack. Against Opsigoon, you beat Opsigoon because he resists counter. Beat Registeel because Reggie going Reggie and Registeel got nerfed. As you see, the level 40 variation has stronger matchups just because, like I said, extra damage. In some matchups, extra damage does matter. Now, this is where this is where things get kind of really iffy. Or rather, that this is why level 50 Azu is such a beast. As you see, you beat, uh, you beat Sableye in the two shield. So Sableye, if it lands a return, it hurts really hard. But as you see, you convincingly beat Sableye now with a level 50 Azu. Level 50 Azu will take out Sableye in the two shield, which is nuts. You beat Scrafty, of course, because you resist all the, because you, you essentially wall it. Shiftery takes your soul. So if you see a Shiftery run, because Shiftery, well, Shiftery is going to beat you anyways. It outpaces you and Leaf Blade does heavy damage. You beat Skarmory very convincingly with level 50. As you see, level 50 Azu is very powerful right here you also beat g fisk our stun fit well you beat g fisk in general with all variations but you beat stun fist convincing i mean you beat regular stun fist convincingly regular stun fist hurts a lot because it has discharge however if you have a level 50 azu that extra bulk allows you to beat stun fisk and the thing about level 50 azu you also flip the toxic rope matchup and the swamper well you beat it with ice beam hydro pump but you flip the you flip the toxic rope matchup i believe you could just go straight ice beam at level 50 so let's take a look what happens so this is why level 50 Azu is nuts. It flips so many key matchups. And yeah, I just go straight Ice Beam. That's, as you see here, level 50 Azu does beat Toxic Rogue. Every other variation does not. Straight Ice Beam. Now you're going to lose against Tropius. As you see, you have a stronger matchup against Tropius. It's kind of, yeah, well, Tropius is grass. So Tropius is grass. You don't beat the Razor Leaf one. If you see Razor Leaf run, if you see your S-Types, just run. That's the general strategy of a lot of anti-meta teams. They target Azu. Run. <laughs> as you see, you beat Umbreon. With any variation, Vigorith, Wishcash, you, with Wigglytuff, you beat Wigglytuff, you have Ice Beam, Play Rough, but like, I, I yeah, if you have Ice Beam, Play Rough, because you Play Rough it down, as you see here, Azu wins just because you Play Rough it down, so it's very close though, so against Wiggly, well, you're going to take Wiggly Shield, so I guess that's a plus, but yeah, and you beat Zwilus just because you resist everything. All right, here's the one shield matchup. As you see here, one shield, not much of a difference. You still lose against grass types, etc. And it does it. Let's see, in the one shield, does it? Does any key matchups flip? It looks like in. It looks like for Cresselia in the one shield, you do flip the Cresselia match. Or for Cresselia does flip depending if you have a 40 or 50. So the one shield does have a small difference. As you see, level 50 variations have a very strong matchup against Deoxys defense, but this is the Ice Beam Hydro Pump variation. As you see here, you beat Driplim with the Play Rough Hydro Pump variation. This doesn't make any sense. Well, let, yeah. Well, you should just be able... Well, oh, okay, now I get it. It's because... This is bait dependent. You have to shield the Shadow Ball. So if you if you call the Ice Beam bait, you will beat Driplim. So just keep that in mind in this matchup. So if you're in the sandbox against Driplim... Drip Limb, as you see, Shadow Ball does heavy damage, but if you don't shield the Icy Wind, so assuming that you call the Icy Wind, you don't shield the Icy Wind, you actually shield the Shadow Ball, you update that, Ozzy wins. But you have, to you have to Hydro Pump, so you have to, you, they're going to shield your Ice Beam because it's going to suck, and if you, yeah, and then, as you see here, and then you Hydro Pump it down, and then just straight bubble. So this is a bait dependent matchup for Drip Limb. Drip Limb, they have to, you have to, if you call the Icy Wind, you're good, you're good. Now, of course, you're going to lose against Electric and Grass-type, so I'm not going to cover that. You also start losing against Hypno, because Double Punch actually hurt, like, Thunder Punch hurts a lot. You'll beat Frostless with all variations. Level 50, let's see, does there anything that level 50 actually flips? Okay, so level 50, Azu does flip the Mew matchup again. So, if Mew matchup 
as you see, level 50, Azu will beat Mew in the one shield. In the twos and the ones convincingly versus every other variation. Now, you beat a majority of everything you're supposed to. Shifter kills your soul because Shifter takes your soul. Let's see, level 50. It looks like you flip the swamp. You beat Swampert in the one shield convincingly. In the two shields, you beat if you have Ice Beam Play Rough because, but you have to, I mean, Ice Beam Hydro Pump. Now, you beat it in the one shield convincingly. So, other, I think the only notable matchup in the one shield is probably the Mew matchup. So, level 50, Azu does flip Mew, which is still pretty huge because Mew is still very oppressive in Great League. All right, now we have the zero shield. As you see, we ran the zeros, and then this is what we get. So level 50 Azu does lose against level 40 Azu. I've explained this before, but it's only because it's CMP. So if you're ahead on energy, this flips anyway. So if you get the mirror match, level 50 Azu and level... Well, pretty the player up variation beats the regular one that doesn't have player up. So, well, most of you already know this. In other words, if your Azu doesn't have player up and you're in the mirror, you're going to lose if they have player up. Other than that, you have a chance. As you see here, though, if you have energy advantage, you can still flip the matchup. So level fit, it, there's a huge argument. I'm not going to go too in-depth into it. Anyways, that's what it is. However, this is what's really interesting. In the zeros, in the zero shield, a key matchup that, well, we all hate Bastiodon. So, well, if you need Hydro Pump to kill Bastion, but you'll still beat Bastion because you Hydro Pump it down. You'll beat Cofable. Now, this is a key matchup. You beat Deoxys defense convincingly in the zeros. I The level 40 variation doesn't beat it because of because you don't have enough bulk to survive the thunderbolt because as you see here thunderbolt leaves you near dead and you get just enough energy to squeeze out another ice beam so that's a yeah that so you get yes yeah, so as you see here it just a you can survive two thunderbolts with a with a with a, an azu that's level 50 this is nuts that's pretty key because dd is still a very popular and powerful mod now with Dugong, you only beat Dugong if you have Play Rough, as you see here. Level 50 doesn't change that. Let's see, any other matchups? You beat Hypno in the zeros. So you flip two key matchups. You flip Deoxys defense. You also flip Hypno. Flip, uh, yeah, Hypno, you're able to you're able to survive Thunder Punches in the closer, and then you can Hydro Pump and Ice Beam down. Actually, just straight Ice Beam. Yeah, I'm wrong. You just straight Ice Beam. You survive two Thunder Punches, you just Ice Beam. That extra bulk matters. As you see here, you still beat everything you're supposed to be. If you lose against Lickitung XL just because it has power whip. Now, anything else that flips? No, you beat Shadow Champ, you beat Hanibuzz, etc. You beat Mel Metal because you Hydro Pump it, etc. Do, do, do. You still lose against Shiftery. So, Play Rough. So, if you don't have Play Rough, as you see here, Play Rough does flip Shiftery matchup. I don't. Yeah, Play, yeah, play Rough KOs Shiftery. So, an Ice Beam won't K. Okay, so most of you know this normally will KO you. So. You'll do a simultaneous knockout, so as long as... Yeah, but here's what happens. So, Ice Beam actually doesn't kill, a, like, a Shiftery at full HP. As you see there. Now, do I know this? I play Shiftery a lot. Well, it's, yeah, I play Shiftery a lot. Shadow Shiftery is my, is my boy, and I created the most powerful team people hooked at one point with it, so... Shiftery does not die to one full Ice Beam at full HP. It will still get to Elite Blade, and it will kill you, so just keep that in mind. Play Rough will kill it, though, because when you get stabbed... You get stabbed. Yeah, you get stabbed with, with player up. So that's why you just automatically just destroy shift three. Now, any other... You flip the Tropius matchup? What? Oh, man. That's... You flip Tropius and you flip Wigglytuff. Yo, that's huge. It's level 50, Azu flips Tropius in the closer straight ice. Blah. Dang, that's a lot of 1 HP in a Dream Snares. But you know what? It actually works. Oh, wow. So Azu flips... Fazu flips Hypno, it also fl it flips Hypno, Wigglytuff, Shadow Hypno, it flips the Ox's defense, it can even survive two leap plays from Tropius. This thing's amazing. And you beat Wigglytuff. What happens if you're up shield? So in the no shields, it flips a lot of key matchups, it tips three key matchups as well. Tropius, Wigglytuff, a lot of things, a lot of things, like adding four really relevant meta matchups really matters. How about if you give it shields? So one to zeros, what happens? In the one to zeros, level 50 Azu is basically, let's see, level 50 Azu is able to take on almost everything of the meta with Ice Beam, except, of course, Ferrothorn, because Ferrothorn sucks. Lapras as well. If you have Play Rough, if you have the Play Rough variation, you'll beat Lapras just because it doesn't wall you. And you beat Lickitung with a shield. So you could beat Lickitung XL with a shield. It looks like does there's no real minor difference, but you have to have Hydro Pump to kill it. In Meganium, you actually flip the Meganium matchup in the one to zero. So with in a switch sheet, with one to zeros, you actually beat Meganium, where with every other variation you would lose. That's huge as well. With one to zeros, you can flip Meganium. You beat pretty much everything else. You're gonna lose against Venusaur and probably Shadow. No, you actually beat Shadow Victory Bell. Yeah, you beat Shadow Victory Bell as long as you have Ice Beam. 
but you lose against Venusaur still just because Vine Whip's hurt. Now in the two to zeros, I can expect to see you're probably gonna beat everything in the meta. Let's see, in the two to zeros, level 50 Azu, you beat pretty much everything with really strong matchups. If you have two to zeros with a level 50 Azu, level 50 Azu beats everything. It beats everything unless, well, Ice, as long as you have, so play rough Ice, so this is where it kind of matters. In Player of Hydro Pump, you don't beat Tropius or Venusaur Victory Bell. However, if you have Ice Beam, as you see, all Ice Beam variations do win. So level 40, level 50 with two shields, Azu just runs, goes to town. Level 50 gives you a stronger matchup against most, against a lot of, as you see here. So Azu with two shields is a beast. And no matter what, even if it's level 40, 50. Now on the two to ones, this is where it's going to get really interesting. Because with shielded, two to ones means you have shield advantage. So what happens? With shield advantage, this is what happens. So as this is what happens. Let's see what the what flips. So in the two to ones, you still lose against Chestnut because of ener energy ball. Let's see. You lose against Dugong unless you have play rough ice beam because you're able to bait the because uh, you're able to bait that shield. Let's see. You're able to beat Galvantula. Well, you can beat it with level 42 as you see right here as long as you have shield advantage. Let's see. Is there any key new matchups you flipped in the two to ones? No, do, 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 do. Nope, in the 2 to 1 shield you beat most most matchups unless it's like Meganium or Tropius. So, uh, okay, level 50. Okay, so this is where you kind of die in the 2 to 1s you lose against Venusaur with with extra bulk. You actually need that extra attack from from Azu. This is one of the few matchups that you and it looks like okay, that's pretty much it. So in the 2 to 1 shield not so much difference as a regular Azu as you see level 40 Ice Beam Player of Hydro Pump Azu is as you see here. Level 50 Azu with Ice Beam Player does flip the Obama Snow matchup. So that's pretty huge. So there, yeah, it's pr that's pretty huge. So Ice Beam Player of Azu is able to take that matchup. But other than that, there's no difference in the 2 to 1s. Yep, there's no difference within 2 to 1s. And you do lose against Venusaur. But Venusaur isn't that common, so I wouldn't really worry about it too much. So if you made it to the end of this video, this is a technical summary. Azu, 10 out of 10. Yes, there's a lot of strategies that target Azu. However, being able to flip matchups, key matchups like the two shield with Sableye, the two shield with Sableye, the one to zeros with Meganium, you flip Hypno Thunder Punch in the closer and Tropius Air Slash in the closer as well. I have to give it a 10 out of 10. With the level 50 bulk, you're able to, like I said, flip matchups, flip very key matchups that would target Azu. And with energy advantage and player advantage, it gives you more breathing room with this extra bulk. Because of that, I have to give it a 10 out of 10. Having a level 50 Azu does matter. Level 40, as you see, isn't too bad either. It's still going to be as oppressive. However, level 50 does give you that extra bulk you need to flip key matchups. As you see, you don't really need a level... Level 50 is already 0, 15, 15. So you don't need a level 51 one. As you see, it's still going to be level 50. Because 0, 15, 15 is the best you can get. That's the lowest attack you can get. And it's just so powerful. It's it's really nuts just how busted this... How busted level 50 Azu is. As you see, level 50 Azu does flip 81% of matchups in the one shield. With the level 40 variation, things do change. In the one shield, as you see, you're able to flip in the one shield and we flip to level 40 78 so still flipping those the matchups that you do flip though are key matchups so they're not like oh wait these are super random no you flip key matchups in like ones and twos that's why it makes it so powerful and like it's really it's really annoying that we have to deal with this azu is also azu xl level 50 is also probably the easier one one of the easier ones to obtain for level 50 for great league not as far as stat product goes for 0 15 15 however like i mean in a sense for like i mean in a sense for like xl candy so you it's easy to get one for xl candy basically so there's there it is right here and then in the zero shields like i say like i said here level 50 there's level 40 level 50 now there is an interesting like as like azu i'm not going to go too deep into it because azu is azu because it's so freaking good but level 50 does matter it makes it really really powerful now level 50 as you see 85 percent win ratio and you put it to level 40 it gains even more wins that's why it's like so if thanos had a pet and he played pokemon it'd be called azumarill and he definitely used the infinity stones to make it a level 50 azu and turn into an absolute beast as you see it does get stronger now the good thing is there's not a, a humongous difference between a level 40 and 50 azu as you see some matchups you do need that attack to flip so as far as sense of urgency to get a level 50 azu 
Don't worry about it. It's not that... It's it's really good, but like, uh, but like unless you know these specific matchups, and you know that in the one to zeros you flip the Meganium matchup, like you're probably not gonna see too many. You're not gonna see a lot of players that are super experienced with level fifty. Level fifty, yes, it's super good, but it takes a bit of skill and knowledge. As you saw in the analysis we did here, there's a lot of information you need. To, you need to know in order to be effective with a level 50 Azu. So your average player or your player that's brand new to PvP isn't going to be like a god with level 50 Azu. Anyways, you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you because this was a long analysis, but it really is worthy to note just what level 50 Azu does to a regular one. Not only is the information really interesting, however, as we noted, Azumarill keeps, like, it's it flips a lot of really, really common and big meta matchups. You guys have a great day. I will see you guys on the next video.